Welcome back, warriors, to Warrior Cats Clan Generator. We're here with Sky Clan, and we've got a lot of cats crowding up here in the clan leader's den. Not really sure why, but that's a thing. We've got a few apprentices and kits hanging out in the apprentice's den, and some hanging out in the middle as well, and all our kits over here. My god, look at this nursery. Oof, hot diggity damn, that's a lot of kitty cats. <laughs> These two are always near each other. They look very alike, and I've noticed that they are always near each other. Before we do anything today, I want to read out a bit of storyline that Catherine has came up with about Quail Paw. This is Quail Paw's choice. Tumblestar is always secretly sneaking out of camp with random cats to talk to alone. He went out of camp with Quail Kit. Since then, Quail Kit is plagued by nightmares every time she sleeps. Beautiful notices this and confronts Quail Kit, who tells him that Tumblestar said confusing things while saying that she's special and he wants her as his apprentice. Realizing what Tumblestar is doing, Hootpaw promises to look after Quail Kit. On the very day of his graduation, Hoot Whisper immediately announces that he chooses Quail Paw as his apprentice. Sky Clan are baffled and stunned by the young medicine cat. Frostfire is skeptical of Hoot Whisper's experience and asks Tumblestar to give Quail Paw to her instead, but he politely turns her down. While she's happy with finally having kits of her own and Tree Patch giving her attention, Frostfire can't help but think it may prevented her chances to have an apprentice. Meanwhile, Hoot Whisper and Quail Paw grow a close bond as friends. So that is some really nice backstory for Hoot Whisper and Quail Paw. Thank you, Catherine, for that. I'm seeing stripes again <laughs> because of the text. So I really like that being a reason why Hoot Whisper immediately jumped at the opportunity to get Quailpaw as their apprentice, even though they have not long been, uh, you know, official medicine cats themselves. And as we all know with proper warrior cats, when you are a medicine cat and or a medicine cat apprentice, you are poor. Even when you get your full warrior name, you're still not really like your own warrior as a, you know, like the other warriors are. You aren't the main official medicine cat until your mentor, medicine cat mentor, has passed away. So it's almost like you're still an apprentice anyway, you just have a different name, so. But either way, that's not really how we see things in this game, because it doesn't portray like that. But in the books, it kind of does. But anyway, let's have a look and see how everybody is doing. Start with Tumblestar, of course. Tumblestar is wondering if Stoutport is ready for the responsibility of being a warrior. Smallfoot is playing a prank on Hoot Whisper. <laughs> I love that. He's the deputy and he's playing a prank on Hoot Whisper, the medicine cat. <laughs> Hornetail is thinking about a strange two-leg object they saw recently. I wonder what object. Ooh. Olive Root almost got lost near some two-leg nests. Crossfire is wondering if Kitty Pet Life is really so bad. Heat Whisper, wait, Frostfire, you can't think that. You have kids. You, no, 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 that's bad. You just had a lot of kids as well. Heat Whisper saw a kitty pet rolling around a tuber garden. Quailpaw annoyed their mentor on accident the other day. Uh oh. Oh no. Quailpaw annoyed Heat Whisper literally as we were just discussing them. Oh dear. Flailpaw saw a two leg kit playing with a kitty pet. Little Lily is unable to be scared no matter how much the kids try. <laughs> that is adorable. Snowball spent last night stressing over possible disasters. Oh, really? Hmm, I wonder if with Snowball's age, she has become more paranoid. I certainly feel like I become more paranoid with the, each day, you know, as I get, get older. I don't know, it's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Mortal Twist is grooming themselves thoughtfully. Tree Patch daydreams about becoming a warrior in Tiger Clan. What? Tree, <laughs> tree patch. That's a permanent condition. What? Hang on. Say what now? You want to become a warrior in another clan? Tiger clan? Which... Have we had tiger clan pop up yet? How many clans are there? I swear there's like six clans in this game. And also, you have a permanent condition? What's your condition? Weak leg. Water in their lungs has been hurt for two moons. Okay, permanent condition though is a weak leg. Oh my gosh, that's, that totally reminds me of Cinder Pelt. And also Cinder Heart from the book series. That is so strange. Oh, interesting. And you are one of our great hunters as well. Hmm. Cantoof is giving some advice to Deepaw. 
Deepaw managed to convince another apprentice to play Mossball instead of finishing their duties. Oh no, Deepaw. Well, she's sick. I guess she's bored. Comfreypaw wants to visit Quailpaw at the Medicine Cat Den. Oh, it's like they're best friends. Springpaw feels worn out from training. Ivorypaw is sad that they couldn't spend time with Cypress Gaze. Oh, that's sad. Oh, look at her eyes. She's gorgeous, but yeah, that's really upsetting. Starpaw is awkwardly deflecting Kit's questions about where Kit's come from. It's funny how the kids are asking Stoutpaw, who's not much older than them. Oh dearie me. Granitepaw is relaxing in between training and patrols. Oakpaw asks Springpaw to wake them up if they oversleep. Yukit is asking older cats how kits are born. Sankit got in trouble for- <laughs> Yukit must be the one who's asking, who is asking Stoutpaw all these awkward questions. Sankit got into trouble for being, bringing fawns into the nest, uh oh. Jumpkit chats with Hoot Whisper about what it's like to be a medicine cat. Oh, I wonder if Jump Kit is going to want to be a medicine cat at some point. And also, I'm thinking of changing the name of Jump Kit and pro probably Jump Kit only because I like the other names, but there is a name suggestion that Catherine has given and I will change that in a moment. Which Kit is asking older cats how kits are born? Born Kit is pestering older cats to play with them. Clear Kit is annoying older cats. Starling Kit wonders if Starkan has given Frostfire any prophecy lately. It's always Frostfire. Have you noticed that? It's never Olive Root anymore. It's just Frostfire. It's like everyone sees Frostfire as the main medicine cat when actually that's Olive Root. Sable Kit is playing pretend and Holly Kit chats with Heat Whisper about what it's like to be a medicine cat. Oh, also, that's very weird because Holly Kit from the book series or Holly Paw, she first started off as a medicine cat and then transitioned to being a warrior instead. That's very fascinating that that's popped up. And your name is the same. Huh. Fascinating. But I want to change... I want to change Jump Kit. So, Catherine suggests naming Jump Kit Ren Kit, which I really like. So that is what I am going to do. I'm going to change your name, little one, to Ren Kit. There we go. So now we have Ren Kit instead of Jump Kit. I do like the name Jump Kit, but I think Ren Kit is just more interesting. Okay, let's now have a look at how these guys are doing. Shimmer Sky is watching over the newest additions to their clan. Hogblaze is feeling down. Oh, that's so sad. Middle Leaf is feeling happy. Okay. <laughs> Cypress Case is watching the clans for any signs of discord. Mm. Ika Whisker has seen Frostfire's future demise. What? That is scary. I hope that's not soon. Oh my goodness. Blizzardpaw is sad they couldn't complete their training. I'm sorry, Blizzardpaw. I completely messed up that episode. I'm so sorry. And Pine Sap wants to find Star Clan cats to play with. Ooh. Actually, I can change your name now to, to Pine Sap. I keep forgetting to do that. There we go. Little Pine Sap. Aww. He wants to play. He wants to pl uh, play. Uh, find Star Clan cats to play with. Oh, I'm sure Blizzardpaw will play with you. Uh, now let's look at these two. Togepi hangs around their old home, hesitant to leave it. And Siddiqui is waving happily with their tail at another ghost cat when they cross paths. That's adorable. It is adorable. All right, let's jump back into the camp. So it is Leaf Bear now. Oh no, I really hope that doesn't affect the prey that we can get. Because that would suck majorly. We are going to go out on some patrols. We've got plenty of cats to go with. So we've got 33 pay, uh, pre 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 33 prey. So I'm going to go on a lot of hunting patrols to get our food up. But I do want to still do some other patrols as well. And we're going to start with you. With your apprentice. Um, and I feel like who doesn't have an apprentice and also is not... Okay, how about you? And also is not a, a medicine cat. I think we'll take these guys out. Wait, no, you're a medicine cat. <laughs> I keep doing this. <laughs> ah, who? Everybody has... Okay, literally everybody has an apprentice. Or is a medicine cat. Alright, so I'm gonna take... I'm gonna say Sporefoot. Uh, Sporefoot insists on going on a border patrol with Tumblestar because he does not want Oakpaw to go alone with Tumblestar as he doesn't trust, as Sporefoot doesn't trust the clan leader. So he's kind of keeping an eye on things and little Oakpaw here. So he is going to be adamant on going on a border patrol with them. 
The patrol hears a cat begging for their house folk to come back, just barely intelligible over the sound of a monster speeding away. Ooh, I'm gonna proceed with that. Tumblestar finds a kitty pet collapsed by the thunder path, wailing for their house folk. Tumblestar comforts them, asking why they were left there. The only explanation they have is that they're sick, perhaps they were too much of a burden. Tumblestar offers them a place in Sky Clan, at least until they're better. They tentatively accept, looking longingly at the thunder path as they're led away. Oh, that's so sad. And that's very much like what happened to Chica with Scarfield. Moon Lightning joined the clan. Moon Lightning? We've got to change that name, I'm sorry, but Moon Lightning? It can be Moon something, that's fine. But Lightning? Maybe, I don't know, Light something? I don't know. Come up with some, some names for Moon Lightning. <laughs> but I'm surprised Tumblesaw let them into the clan. Interesting, interesting. Unless he wants to sway them to his side, because he knows he hasn't got many followers at the minute. He knows that everybody's a bit suspicious of him, other than his mate, anyway. Alright, that's cool. We have another cat. We will check out Moon Lightning in a bit. But first, let's go on a couple patrols. Uh, these two can go on a herb gathering patrol, and then our other two medicine cats can also go on one. As the medicine cats patrol pads out into Sky Clan territory, the Olive Root tells Hornetail about the dream they had last night and what this Dark Clan vision could mean for Sky Clan. Hornetail watches Olive Root with undisguised envy, desperately wishing they were the one to receive the vision. I oh, don't think so, Hornetail. Looking back nervously, Olive Root withdraws from the group, dismissing the dream as unimportant. Oh, Hornetail made Olive Root feel awkward. But now we're going to send these two out on a herb gathering patrol. The cold of leaf bear might have killed off a lot of greenery, but who whisper knows that the plants like dandelions and wild garlic are only playing dead. And if they can get their paws on a plant, the roots will still hold white milky sap or stinky bulbs. Seems it's time for Quailpaw to learn about what resources are still around to gather during leaf bear. Pete whisper can't say it's fun swiping away snow to scrounge for the stems and roots of wilted dandelions below. But what matters currently is that it's possible. Still, they heavily praise Quailpaw as they head back home with their harvest. They haven't uttered a single word of complaint about the miserable conditions and was even the one to find the wild garlic on the way home. Hoot Whisper couldn't be prouder. Ah, oh, that's adorable! I feel like this episode is very centered around Hoot Whisper and Quailpaw. Some wild garlic and dandelion was gathered. Perfect. All right, now all of these cats are gonna go on. I would like to send them out with their apprentices, but for the first patrols, I want to send them out individually and just try and get a lot of food because with this new blimmin' update, I feel like you just have to, you have to go on a bunch of patrols, food, you know, hunting patrols, otherwise the cats will die of starvation and it's just not cool, not cool man. I preferred the old ways. <laughs> I wish there was an option to choose whether to have that as a thing or at least dial it down a little bit because yeah, I just feel like you kind of have to, otherwise your cat's going to start dying of starvation, especially the young ones, so I, I don't Depending how much we get, I'll see about taking these guys with their apprentices. We'll see. Uh, okay, fine. I will do... I'll do the cats that don't have their apprentices for now. I'll do that. Your patrol comes across a squirrel. It's engrossed in nibbling at a morsel beneath a tree. Stealthily, Stoutpaw stalks forward. The squirrel has no idea what's coming as the cat pounces on it and breaks its neck. Stoutpaw sends a silent thanks to Starclan for its prey. A medium amount was caught. Good, or brought back, should I say. All right, so tree patch is down and out at the minute, so we'll send out Springpaw. A rabbit bursts out from cover, startled by Springpaw. Springpaw manages to corner and catch the rabbit. Awesome, a large amount was brought back. Fantastic, okay, cool. We've got 49.8, so I will send these guys out with their apprentices now. Uh, sp apart from Deepaw, because we sent Sporford out to watch over Oakpaw. Your patrol glimpses the shadow of a fish as they pad past a stream. Deepaw pads closer to the water's edge, careful to keep their shadow away from the water. The fish doesn't seem to notice them and darts too close. Deepaw's paw flashes into the water and the fish flops onto the bank. They kill it and happily carry it back to camp. A medium amount was brought back. Perfect. All right, now we can send these guys out with their apprentices. Perfect. So we've got Granite Paw and Little Lily. The hunting patrol comes across an eagle out on the ice of a little lake, eating a big fish catch. Hmm. Proceed. Your patrol decides to fight the eagle for possession of the prey, but the massive aerial predator is too much for the starving Sky Clan cats, and it kills Granite Paw in the battle. I was not expecting that. 
Oh no, Granite Paw was literally one of the identical cats I mentioned earlier. Stout Paw's not gonna be happy. Why, I should have rolled, but I just kind of went for it and thought maybe they just wouldn't get the fish. I guess they didn't. Well, that sucks. Okay, Mottle Twist and Comfrey Paw. Note self, stay away from eagles. Your patrol comes across a bird that's occupied scratching at the ground for insects. Your patrol catches the bird before it flies away. Okay, a small amount was brought back. And then last but not least, we've got Ivory Paw and Talon Tooth. Hmm. Eyes glowing with the last rays of the sunset, the small hunting party heads out into the gathering dusk. With their diurnal prey tired and headed to their homes, their crepuscular counterparts come out in full force. As their nocturnal prey still blinks away the sleep in their eyes, the patrol has a truly premium member of opportunities to catch food, enough so that the entire clan comes to comment on the patrol's success when they return. A huge amount was brought back. back. Oh, we got 90.6! That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I'm glad that that's an option. But we lost a paw. We lost a paw. We lost granite paw. It was oak paw that looked like her. Sorry, not stout paw. Stout paw's here, but it was oak paw that looked like granite paw. I'm so sorry, granite paw. I didn't expect the eagle to... I mean, I should have, really. It's an eagle. It's not exactly small. And it has huge talons. Oh my gosh, let's see what the cats have to say about this. Okay. Treepatch has recovered from the water in their lungs. Good. Treepatch was out wandering in the territory for a bit too long and came back with frostbite. So he gets one thing. He recovers from one thing, should I say. And literally comes back with another the same night. Oh my goodness. Literally hopes the litter will be small. They feel overwhelmed at the idea of a big litter. They're keen to move into the nursery quickly, as though by doing so, their litter will get the message and appear sooner. <laughs> oh, little Lily. Little, little Lily? Little Lily is an elder now. Ooh, okay. Snowball Sprain is feeling much better. Good, hopefully that means they can um, hunt again. You pause purr so hard that they're shaking as they touch noses with little Lily. Oh, yay! Pupil took a tumble off a rock while practicing their battle moves. They'll be a bit tender for the next few days. Oh my gosh, these cats. Surprising talent tooth, the first thing that Sandpaw does after their apprentice ceremony is gather moss just to make sure everyone has fresh bedding. That is adorable. So it looks like talent tooth has another apprentice, I guess? Stable kit and wish kit try to sneak out of camp but are caught and return to the nursery. <laughs> yes. Do you remember what happened last time a kit wandered out of camp? Pine sat, or pine kit then, did not come back. Moon lightning's white cough is gone. I completely forgot to look at moon lightning. Oh, whoops. The past moon, granite paw has taken their place in star clan. Sky clan mourns their loss and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners as those that were closest to them take them to their final resting place. <laughs> That's so sad. Come to ask Springpaw how they're doing. Probably not very well after the devastating loss of Granite Paw. Tumblestar and Quailpaw realize they have more in common than previously thought. That is... Wow, okay. That completely, completely changes the story that Catherine came up with. And we literally read out at the beginning of this episode. Because Quailpaw is now wanting to speak to Tumblestar and wants to hear what he has to say. So I'm wondering if Quailport is going to turn a bit more towards Tumblestar's views and darkness. Ooh, that's interesting. Treepat shared an embarrassing story about Yukit they were asked not to share. Sporfer didn't tell Comfreyport about the feather stuck to their face so Comfreyport spent the whole day looking silly. Sporfer is happy to run into Talentooth today. Olive Root Saved a piece of fresh kill that they know is Tumblestar's favourite. Weird, Olive Root doesn't like Tumblestar. Olive Root is talking to Yukit, with Yukit, sorry. Little Lily is complaining that Quailpaw never does anything helpful. Little Lily is able to work together with Deeppaw. Springpaw smiles at Frostfire whenever they meet. Hornetail saw Starling Kit the other day but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Or didn't choose to. Hornetail saw Comfreypaw the other day but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Or didn't choose to. Motto Twist spent a long time talking with Sankit and was impressed by Sankit's insight. Motto Twist is letting Springpaw share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. Pete Whisper asks Yukit about something complicated and regrets it almost immediately when Yukit misses the point. 
Baby Whisper, Renkit and Oakpaw had a nice talk while eating. Leopaw and Renkit realize they have more in common than previously thought. Oh, maybe those two will become good friends. Talon 2 spends most of the afternoon describing the territory to Ren 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 Renkit. Deepaw is always happy to be around Hornet Tail. Comfrypaw clears up a misunderstanding with Quailpaw. Springpaw asks Talon Tooth how they're doing. Ivorypaw saw Hol Hol Holly Kit. Man. Ivorypaw saw Holly Kit the other day, but didn't get a chance to meet Hello, We haven't heard much about Holly Kit. Whalepaw wonders what Oakpaw thinks about mates. Snowball compliments Olive Root on how sharp their claws are today. Interesting. Snowball acknowledges Holly Kit with the twitch of their whiskers. Oakpaw bickered about something trivial with Comfy Paw. Stout Paw cheers Clear Kid up after a small disagreement. Deepaw and Olive Root had to fix something around camp and argued about how to fix it. It ended up being fixed by some other cat in the end. Oh, that's not good. Sample offers to groom a hard to reach place for Frostfire who thanks them earnestly. Rain Kit thinks Olive Root isn't very considerate of others. Wish Kit called Quailpaw the wrong name. There's so many paws in the clan, you can't really hold it against poor little wish kit. Dawn kit said something really rude to tree patch. That is bad though. Clay kit asked Oakpaw how they're doing. Stalin kit saw wish kit the other day but didn't get a chance to meet a hello. Sable kit caught Swarfoot complaining about them behind the back. That's not good. Holly kit thinks Moonlightning was nice to them today. Moonlightning covered for Flailpaw on something minor. Okay, wow. So let's <gasps> look. Tumblestar is an elder. He looks even more scary now. Looks more menacing. Where is this new cat we have in our clan? There he is! Moon Lightning is looking forward to today. Look at him, he's gorgeous! He's a male, he's a young adult with silver eyes. He's got that pelt, I can't say that word. Short fur, he's 39 moons old, so fairly young. He is a warrior who's childish, a great teacher, and a good fighter. Formerly a kitty pet. Moon Lightning used to be a kitty pet. One day they got sick and their two legs brought them into the belly of a monster with two legs and left them to fend for themselves. They joined the clan on Moon 33 at the age of 38 moons. Wow. I like him. I like him. He's, he seems pretty cool. I wonder if he'll have a an apprentice one day. Okay. Well, I'm guessing there's going to be some cats who are mourning. Yeah, he does have two, um, Talon Tooth does have two apprentices now, Ivy Paul and Sam Paul. Wow, okay. Right, let us see, let us see how everybody is doing. Tumblestar saw a two-leg kit playing with a kitty pet. Um, why can I not look at the next cat? Don't know. Some reason I can't. It's okay. Let me save quickly. Sporfoot is playing a prank on Frostfire. You know what? I'm gonna have to go to cat list because it's just not letting me. There we go. Hornet Tail is reciting the names and that of herbs out loud. Olive Root is giving some advice to Stoutpaw. Frostfire had a nightmare involving a two-leg trap. You Whisper almost choked on their prey. Oof. Whalepaw is checking up on the warriors. Flailpaw is playing a prank on Frostfire. Look at you, Flailpaw. You look so different now. You look like a normal warrior now. You look older than, than Quailpaw. That's strange. Is this supposed to be a, a paw a little icon? I'm not sure it is. I don't know. Literally wonders how Ivorypaw is doing. Snowball saw some kitty pets playing with colourful moss balls. Otter Twist is basking in the sun. Tree Patch is eavesdropping on Wishkit. Wish Moon Lightning is looking forward to the day. Talon Tooth wonders how Deepaw is doing. Deepaw saw a kit, a two-leg kit playing with a dog. Comfrypaw was recently caught humming to themselves. Springpaw is craving the taste of frog. Ivorypaw saw some kitty pets playing with col colourful moss balls. Stylepaw is playing a prank on Holly Kit. Oakpaw is curious about the other clans. Oh, maybe, maybe Oakpaw's really upset about poor Granite Kit, uh, Granite Paw. Yupaw is grateful for Frostfire for their treatment. I completely forgot to fill the cats, but I'm hoping it did it on its own. I didn't even think about it. And also, look at Sampaw! Oh, gosh, wrong button. Look at Yupaw! And then also, Sandpaw. Look at Sampaw. Wow, she's, uh, he is gorgeous. Sampaw is in awe of Quailpaw's growth as a medicine cat apprentice. Renkit is asking older cats how kits are born. Wishkit has so much energy. Tornkit wishes other cats would stop babying them. Clearkit is asking older cats how ki kits are born. Sallykit is annoying older cats. Sablekit is scared of having a nightmare. Oh, And Hollykit is scared of having a nightmare. Oh, bless. Yeah, I completely forgot to feed the clan, but I guess it, it did it on its own, maybe? I don't know. Did it? Maybe? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I forgot. Oops. 
Oh, right. Let's go... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. We need to see these guys. Shimmer Sky is worried about the clan. Mm, yeah, with Tumblestar and Hornetail around, I would be too. Hogblaze is admiring Star Clan territory. Rindleleaf has seen Snowball's future demise. What's with all these omens? What's going on? Cypress Case is watching over the newest additions to the clan. Chicka Whisker is relaxing in the sun. And Blizzardport is currently walking in the dreams of Tree Patch. And Granite Paw. Rest in peace, Granite Paw. Your eyes look really terrifying there, not gonna lie. Granite Paw has been following the growth of Hornet Tail. Hmm, interesting. Maybe he didn't maybe he didn't trust her. And Pine Sap doesn't really understand what being in Star Clan means. That is heartbreaking. Coco P is overwhelmed with a wave of nostalgia as they watch a living cat nuzzle their newborn litter. Siddiqui explores places they were afraid to go in life. Oh, I'd probably do the same to be fair. Okay, right, let's go out on our patrols now. We have so many cats. Old man Tumblestar. Well, at least these two are elders now, I guess. There's that. So I'm gonna send... We've got 14... Okay, it did automatically feed them. Good, good. That's fine. We've got 49.6. We need 50. So I'm gonna send... Hmm. I'm going to send... Let's do Moonlighting first with... Who should show him around? I think Sporefoot and Deep Paw because that's Sporefoot's apprentice. And who else? Who else? Who else has... Hmm... How about you, Paul? Yeah, with you, Paul. So these guys are going to go on a border patrol to just show moonlightning around the area. As your patrol was checking the borderlines, they noticed that a fringe clan scent has strayed into their territory. Hmm. I guess they would proceed. I mean, they, you would. Your patrol follows a scent to a fringe clan cat taking refuge up a tree. The cat yells a warning and your patrol scatters when they hear the cry. Just in time too as a large dog jumps at your patrol. Moonlightning rallies the patrol to dive the dog away, thankfully avoiding any injuries. The fringe cat cat is grateful for the rescue. Yay, relations with fringe cat have improved. Oh, that's good. Oh, that wasn't a good start for a first look around the territory for poor Moonlightning, but hey, at least nobody got hurt. Tumblestar and... I'm going to send Tumblestar and Hornet Tail on their own out on a patrol, on a herb gathering patrol on their own so they can discuss things. Hornetail goes out with a warrior escort both for safety as they look for useful fresh supplies They that have survived leaf bear so far and for carrying capacity should they find anything. Surprisingly, Tumblestar actually starts up a conversation with them about the herbs they're looking for. Hornetail launches into the usual spiel but even more astonishingly, Tumblestar is actually interested and it makes their heart feel lighter getting to share their knowledge and skills with someone who respects them. Time was gathered. Oh, cool. All right. So I wonder if they were just, if he was discussing or asking about herbs for any specific reason, maybe about death berries or anything like that. I don't know. Just, just saying, just a suggestion. All right. Let's send you two out on a hunting patrol together. Your patrol comes across the mouse. Your patrol narrowly misses the mouse. A very small amount of prey was brought back. We already have enough. That is fantastic. Right, let's send these two out. Eyes glowing with the last rays of the sunset, the small hunting party heads out into the gathering dusk. Otto Twist goes down hard on a misjudged pounce and stands up with a wince comfy fall, trots over, telling Otto Twist to take it easy and lean on them as they limp home. Motto Twist got a sprain. Oh, that's not good. I think Oakpaw wants to just go and clear their head. You know, just go think about things. They've lost their friend Granitepaw. So I think they're going to go on a hunting patrol on their own. Your patrol comes across a bird that's occupied scratching at the ground for insects. Your patrol catches the bird before it flies away. A small amount of prey was brought back. Now Snowball can go with their apprentice, Stoutpaw. Your patrol comes across a shrew. Your patrol narrowly misses the shrew. A very small amount was brought back. Okay. Wait, where did Talentooth go? Did I send Talentooth out on a patrol accidentally? Whoops. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> All right, well, Sampo's gonna go out on their own, I guess. Sampo is tempted to eat the prey they just caught. No, Sampo decides against breaking the worry code. Yes, you could have at least brought some back. Springpo, her mentor is currently in the medicine cat den, so he is not here. A rabbit burst from cover, startling, or startled by Springpo. Springpo manages to corner and catch the rabbit. A large amount was brought back. Fantastic. Now these guys are all medicine cats, so. I'm going to send them all out on a herb gathering patrol. Actually, who whisper? Uh, Olive Root, sorry, might go on his own. Yeah, actually, no. Oh, 
Yael Garnizar will send these two on their own first. As the Medicine Cats patrol pads out into SkyClan territory, Quayle tells Hugh Whisper about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for SkyClan. Hugh Whisper shakes their head sadly, they can't make sense of the vision. At least they tried to make sense of the vision this time. As Olive Reap pads through SkyClan territory, they feel the presence join them. The scent of a familiar pelt reaches Olive Root's nose. They know this cat with a familiar purr, they turn to greet their friend from beyond the grave. Time was gathered. That is adorable, I love that. Aww. Okay, that's, that was all good. That was all good. We didn't have any casualties this time, so I'm glad about that. But okay, let us skip a moon. It's good. Sky Clan doesn't have enough prey for the next moon. Little Lily is so, so grateful that their adorable single kitten is here. Both thrilled to meet them and thrilled that Olive Root can take a turn parenting while Little Lily finally takes a little break from the stuffy air of the nursery. Crossfire has recovered from birthing their litter. Cute Whisper has gotten white cough. Deep Paul's running nose is gone. Sky Clan welcomes Deep Fur. Deep Fur! Uh, deep Fur? Deep Fire as a new warrior. Honouring their skill. Okay, so Sky Clan welcomes Deep Fire. Very nice. Thumbstar has been following the progress of Comfrey Paw for moons and feels that it is finally time for them to get their warrior name. They are granted the name Comfrey Hollow in honour of their appreciation. Comfrey Hollow, that's interesting. You don't really hear Hollow as a name very often, so I like that. Thumbstar rests their muzzle on Ivory Freckle's head and declares them to be a full warrior of Sky Clan, honouring their efficiency. Nice, everybody is getting their ceremony, naming ceremony. This is just brilliant. Stabpaw has gone yellow cough and Yupaw's bruises are gone. Everybody's getting coughs, which is not good. Thumbstar is giving Tree Patch a task. Thumbstar thinks Sample is very helpful. Tree Patch is talking with Quailpaw. Sporfoot wishes they could get their pot to shine like Comfrey Paws. Sporfoot is really surprised that Hoot Whisper's life isn't as easy as they thought. Olive Root had Hornet Tail bump into them and they didn't even apologise. I'm not surprised. Olive Root bumps heads with Starling Kit reassuringly. Ah, Little Lily saw Tree Patch the other day but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Little Lily thinks Talentooth is very helpful. Crossfire and Sandpaw have an argument about who should get a pretty feather and end up destroying the feather in the fight. That's not good. I mean, Frostfire, what? Hornetail bristles after being scolded by Moon Lightning. Moon Lightning probably shouldn't be scolding anybody at the minute unless he's seen her do something or heard her say something, which is just like outlandish. Hornetail is rethinking how they feel about Renkit and gives them another chance. Mottle Twist caught Renkit complaining about them behind their back. Mottle Twist, uh, Mottle Twist bristles after being scolded by Stout Paw. Maybe the same thing happened. Hoot Whisper feels safe with Talentooth around. That's good. I feel like Talentooth is kind of like a race drive, not just because he looks like him, but also just how he acts and how everybody feels safe around him. Leopold finds a bit of fluff that smells like Whirlpool and adds it to their nest. Talentooth is complaining that Olive Root never does anything helpful. Deepfire is rethinking how they feel about Stubborn and gives them number chance. Comfrey Hollow bristles after being scolded by Wishkit. All of the young cats are scolding the older cats. Springpaw is happy to run into Toadkit, uh, Toadkit? Tornkit today. Ivory Freckle asks M Mottle Twist how they're doing. Burpaw thinks the prey Stoutpaw is biting into on the other side of prey looks delicious. Snowball appreciates how Wishkit always seems to ask how they're doing. Snowball bickered about something trivial with Clearkit. Oakpaw appreciates Hollykit telling them they had a feather stuck to their face. I feel like Hollykit is a really sweet and thoughtful cat. Comfrey Hollow can't help but laugh when Stoutkit tells a funny joke. Stoutpaw, Little Lily and Hornetail have a nice talk while eating. Yupaw surprises Flailpaw with something nice. Sandpaw went to Olive Root for advice about a dream they had. Rinke has been spending time with Talentooth lately. Wishkit and Tumblestar bump into them. Uh, Wishkit had Tumblestar bump into them and they didn't even apologise. Again, I'm not surprised. It just so happens to be Tumblestar and Hornetail who have done that. Tornkit noticed Frostfire is doing their best today. Clearkit and Ivory Freckle enjoy each other's company. Starlingkit and Sandpaw joke about how bad the other clans smell. Sablekit notices how Stoutpaw is being helpful around camp. Hollykit reminds Olive Root to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Wow, a little kit reminding that. That's so sweet. Moonlightning saw Frostfire the other day and did get a chance to meow hello. And Moonlightning sees that Pale Kit. Oh, that's little Lily's kit. Sees that Pale Kit's piece of prey looks tasty and asks if they like to swap. They agree happily, saying that they like that one better. Pale Kit will be drinking milk at the moment. But that's fine. Oh wow, look at Hoot Whisper. He's sick at the moment, but look at his pelt. He's got white cough. Okay. Deep fire, look at you, you look gorgeous. Looks very similar to Chico Whisker, apart from his white on the muzzle and the blue eyes instead of green eyes, but does look very similar to Chico Whisker. I want to see 
granite paw. Oh, granite paw was the kitten that Cypress Gaze brought to camp. Oh, family tree, siblings. Yeah, so Oak Paw was their litter mate. I thought so. And Paul Pine Sap. Oh man, so the kittens that Cypress Ghost brought to camp, two of them have have died. Two of them have, and there's only Oak Paw left. Oh my goodness, poor Oak Paw. Wow, there's something bad going on in that family tree. I. Uh... But alright guys, that's gonna have to do for this episode. If you have any name suggestions for Moon Lightning, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you know anybody else who would also enjoy this series, then please do share the video with them. Also, I really do appreciate all of your help and support on the channel and the videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.